What are your best first date tips for somebody starting the dating game late in life, late 20s and Remember that you are both there by choice. The other person most likely wouldn't be there if they weren't at least a little curious about you. With that in mind, relax. The movie Hitch put it really well she already said yes. Now your job is to not screw it up. Your objective isn't to please them. Your objective is to be as genuine as possible to give them the necessary information to decide to go on a second date. This doesn't mean that you should aim to be unpleasant. It just means that you shouldn't compliment everything about them and bend over backwards to their every whim. That comes off as highly insecure. Your objective is to have fun, and make it fun for your date. My good first dates have always been the ones where we were just having fun doing whatever it is we were doing. I think this is good advice for anyone but if you don't know the person very well, for a first date, I would suggest getting coffee or ice cream. Do not go out for dinner or something that takes long because if you realize within the first 5 minutes you don't like them, it's going to be really hard for you to escape. Getting coffee can be short and sweet but if you're really feeling them, you can then suggest doing something longer. Go for coffee but have something nearby you could go to if you're both feeling it. Be it a walk in a park to feed ducks or laser tag. If you're both having fun see if she wants to go do whatever it is nearby. If you're not into it just send it at coffee. Less about first date and more about dating in general. Learn not to rely on external approval. Dating can be really hard and sometimes you go on a bunch of first dates that never go anywhere and that can lead you to spending time with people you don't really like for validation. It can be rough. It can be anxiety provoking and not fun. This largely depends on your personality. But if you're anxious, the repeated putting yourself out there is not fun. I bring this up because partnered people will hear dating and think fun because they are thinking of spending time with their partner. I just love Daxons too. So I upvoted you. My best advice is do something simple that you enjoy. I've always gone to a restaurant that I thoroughly enjoy because I could have had the worst date of my life. But the night is still a win due to you going to your place. My example, there is a little taco stand near Venice Beach in LA. I love their carnitas. I can take someone there, talk and get to know them. If we hit it off, awesome. If we don't, still awesome because I got my tacos. There is no need to have an extravagant dinner or a whole evening plan for a first date. You are trying to get to get to know a person. No need to give your best capabilities on the first shot. Might as well make it a win for you regardless. Listen. Like. Really listen. Don't hear what the other person is saying and plan in your head what you're going to say next. Listen to what they are actually saying and then say something leading off from it. Or ask a question about it. A conversation will flow far better. It's okay if you don't feel a connection the first date. That's why it's called dating. Figure out what you like dislike in someone you are romantically involved with. And don't settle into something just because you feel like your time is running out. Your 20s are when you are supposed to be finding yourself. So just have fun. Be comfortable. Know what you want out of life and be willing to openly share your philosophies and passions. Most importantly ask her a lot of questions about herself and make sure to listen well. Ask relevant follow ups and challenge her. And if at all applicable, reference something she said a while later. Just to prove that you listened and are superior to all the other lads. I find that when it comes to your late 20s, the intentions of the people you are dating can wildly differ. Some people are dating because they want to settle down quickly, get married in a year or less, and others are dating more casually. It's best to figure out what you want and what the other person wants as well as soon as you can. Also, as long as they don't have an allergy, find a good cologne. Don't go overboard on the compliments, especially in regards to her appearance. It comes off really strong and it's a big turn off for a lot of women. And no sexual jokes comments. You don't deserve them, they deserve you. In other words, don't put the other person on a pedestal, just be yourself. If it doesn't work out then they would have been a bad fit anyway. Worst thing you can do is get yourself in a hopeless relationship because you act like somebody you aren't during a date. Yes, dating is about working out if you're compatible not how can I get this person to date me. It's better to be single than keep dating someone that you have nothing in common with. Ask questions, don't just answer, 
I've been on too many dates where the guy sits there in silence and answers questions, never asking me anything even when there are long stretches of silence. Typical bad date conversation. Me. What's your favorite flavor of ice cream? Him. Vanilla. Me. A classic. Smiles. Him. Silence. Me. What do you like to do on your free time? Him. Watch TV. Me. Pauses expecting reciprocity. Him. Silence. Me. Any nice shows lately? Him. Not really. I just watch whatever. Silence. That sounds like a job interview. Jeez. But this is why dating apps are useful. Usually you can weed people out who converse like this in the beginning. But if you're a male make the first move. Holding hands. Kissing etc. Because she's probably not. So men are missed opportunities because I was so nervous and hesitant. At the same time you need to be able to gauge if things are going good or not. If you're a woman. I would welcome you to make more first moves. Guys probably won't complain. Brush your teeth. Look confident even if you aren't. Don't overthink what you all talk about. Ask open ended questions and when they answer it'll open the door to a follow up. This way they do half the work for you and you're both relaxed not overthinking. Split the bill. It's 2017-2018. Don't stare. Don't drive it like you stole it your first time out. Show up on time. Next time use the serious tag. E. Stuck in 2017. E2. Maybe I should have been more thorough. If you ask them out, offer to pay. If they want to split, don't make a big deal out of it and don't refuse to let them pay either if they turn down your split and want to pay. Hey buddy I think you got the year wrong there. On the first date, don't see it like so many people see interviews. That they're doing you a favor be even giving you their time and that you need to impress them otherwise they'll go elsewhere. You should see the first date as a chance to be yourself and see if you click. If you do, great. If you don't, it's not a problem. She wasn't the right person for you. A bit of nerves helps but you don't want to seem desperate. Just relax. Girls love that. Ask questions about him her. Listen with intent. And just relax. Be authentically you. Also, have good hygiene and dress sharply. I'm no love guru, but the only thing I've ever found to be truly effective is to just let crap happen. I've rarely gone on a date and it's never gone over well. It's so contrived, like a religious ritual almost, I just do my thing. I occasionally meet someone, hit it off, usually in the course of doing a mutually enjoyed thing. Subsequently, we do that thing together, no double meaning intended, and, on occasion, someone gets a toothbrush. The best times I've ever had with a woman involved the two of us going out and having fun doing crap that friends do together. Trying to have a date or be a good host always turned out awkward. Previous mutual things included Dungeons and Dragons, historical reenactment, fiction writing, Star Wars, and adult lifestyle conventions. I did that last one twice. I don't recommend it as a way to meet partners. One time. I got a date, in that just kind of happened way, through an amateur astronomy group, because I wasn't enough of a geek already, usually, we'll wind up connecting on one or two other levels as well, astronomy girl also liked video games, reenactor girl liked craft beers, and it's fun, I just gotta get out there and be yourself. Here are some blanket stuff that will apply to 90% of people. 1. If they're on the date with you. 9 stroke 10 she's into you. Don't sweat that whole thing. Be yourself. Or the self that you were that day. And freaking roll with it. 2. Listen. Really freaking listen. Have responses to what she says. Ask her questions. 3. Talk passionately my favorite line from fast if you do not feel, then your words will not inspire. Unless from deep within you speak sincere and with a charismatic fire basically. Talk passionately about something. It could be dog crap for all I. Or she cares. But show her you care about something and do not be ashamed of it. 4. Take her somewhere different. Don't do Starbucks. Don't do some popular bar or whatever. Actually put some time into research a place that's a little different. I live in Boston. For me that has consistently been either a Waffle House. Or parts of the North End people only go to once when they first move into the city gloss over. 5. Ask for her consent to kiss. It'll save you a frick ton of awkwardness. You'll almost always get a yes. 
and it'll tell her a lot about your character. Don't be all awkward and weird about it either, read the moment. Are you two being playful and laughing? Be a little goofy say something like so you. I'd like to kiss you. How do you feel about that if it's more romantic may I kiss you find your own twists. But ask. You're telling her you're confident. You're explicitly asking for her consent. But you're also not being a lil b. You're taking initiative. Really putting yourself out there. But you're also giving her all the space and opportunity to say no. If she says no chill. It's no big deal. Maybe she doesn't kiss you just yet. Maybe she doesn't kiss on the first date, and maybe she's not into you. All of these things are fine. It's important to be as casual about the no as possible. Then continue the date without feeling sad or rejected. You shot your shot, and it missed. That's fine. You might be able to shoot other shots. She might become your friend. Here's the biggie. If she says no, and you're the total gentleman about it, it doesn't kill your mood etc. The day may come where you meet her friend or something. When her friend asks her about you, that girl is only going to have good things to say. This has happened to me twice. I matched with a girl on Tinder they both said something along the lines of you went out on a date with my friend. She said she wasn't feeling it but you were really cool and sweet. So let's do it. 6. Love yourself. No one's going to love you or want to frick you until you love yourself. If you don't love yourself, if you find reasons to hate yourself, Make it your mission to become the person you want to be in love. Have your own back. Dating's hard. People can suck and pay Lee cruel games. You'll survive it all if you love yourself. Just have fun. There is no need to force anything since it is a first date. And if you find yourself forcing a conversation that just means that you two don't click as much as you hoped. <laughs> saying anything is better than saying nothing. Within reason. For instance, if a bit of your conversation comes to a natural conclusion, don't say something awful like sorry, I'm awkward or I hate silences, haha. <laughs> you might feel a bit silly but asking any, inoffensive, question is acceptable. You don't know the person for god's sake, you're not going to necessarily be able to have a long conversation about one thing. Say, do you play any instruments or do you have any pets or where did you last go on holiday do you have any siblings? I know it seems forced, and it kind of is, but if the other person just gives short answers or acts like it's weird that you asked a question seemingly out of the blue, they're the one with a problem. Ideally you'll hit on something that sparks a discussion. If the answers to the above are trombone or dog spain and no without any elaboration or questions back, they're the one with no conversation skills. You're describing what I call battleship questions. You're blind, so just put pegs on the board until you find something. Ask her out to something you love and are comfortable doing. Love hockey then get tickets to a hockey game. Prefer a quiet evening reading. Invite her to coffee and hit up a Barnes and Noble. You need to look at your dates as potential life partners. If she doesn't have a big common interest then don't waste your time. These are all great second date ideas. Better to go with something low commitment and where you can converse easily for the first. Till late in life is late 20s. Anyway, keep your goals simple. Your first date is just there to see if you're gonna get a second date. You don't have to convince the other person to spend the rest of their life with you. Just see if you both want to go out on another one. Don't look too far down the road. Just focus on having a good time and being yourself. If they want a second date, great. If not, then that's okay. 2. If you get that second date, then repeat the process. Don't get too ahead of yourself. As dating goes yeah, it's pretty late to start. Do not go to the movies. Seriously, not only are you stuck with them for upwards of 2 hours, you get no face time, no talking, no figuring out mutual interests, you just sit in silence watching a movie. Well here's my drabble. Tip number 1. Dress properly. No torn jeans, no t-shirts with holes. No dirty shoes. Be neat and tidy even if the setting is more casual. Make sure your nails are neat. You've shaved or even trimmed your beard. If you're in your late 20s, you may perhaps have an idea of where you are going and how you are going to get there. Stick to your guns. Don't dumb yourself down. Don't act weirdly and don't let the other person make you feel bad about yourself. Lastly, be friendly and open to new ideas. Ask questions. Pay attention and smile.
Corollary. If you're not in your late 20s, you have no idea where you're going or how you are going to get there. Don't treat it like dating. Just hang out with the person you think is cool and do the stuff you both like to do. Get to know them and be sincere. Don't have expectations. Don't plan too much. All the rules are bulls. It doesn't even have to be one on one tbh. If there's chemistry, trust me, you'll eventually bone. Or marry, if that's what you're into. If there isn't any, don't force it. What's the point? Don't be rude to the people serving you. If you go for dinner, be polite to the waiter. If you grab a coffee say thank you to the person that takes your order. I feel like people that are rude to those serving them are the worst, and I wouldn't give them a second date. It's important to be kind. Don't be rude to the people serving you. If you need this advice, maybe it's better if you don't date at all. For the rest of us. Play a board game. Skategories or Scrabble. Something where you need to be mildly imaginative. You get to see how your date thinks and have something current and relevant to talk about. What you they played. If you run out of things to talk about, just play the game. Something will come up. Even crappy dates turn out okay if you hit a triple word score. You're going to meet people that you don't like. And people that don't like you. You're going to have relationships that don't work out. You're gonna get embarrassed when you hit on someone that isn't into you. And likely a lot in the first few months of dating someone. It's natural. It's normal. Let it happen. Don't be afraid of failure. You take the mistakes you made in the last relationship. Own them. Try to do things differently in the next. Until you find someone and your deeper understanding of what works and what doesn't makes a really great relationship. If you just want to get laid, honesty and sincerity aren't necessary all the time and sometimes even can get in your way. If you're looking for a serious relationship though, be honest all the time. If things happen to work out, you'd otherwise have to keep that lie up for who knows how long. There's a related story about someone who claimed he didn't know potatoes. As someone who found his future wife at the age of 27, I'm 29 now and marrying her later this year. 1. Pick a place you can talk. Coffee shops are almost always the best, even just to start. If you want to do dinner, maybe grab dessert after. Less eating means more talking. No to movies on the first date. 2. Be the one asking questions, but don't probe too much. Pick up on her facial expressions and look for cues on which topic she seems to enjoy talking about the most. 3. Pick up the check. Insist on it once, at most twice. If she still wants to split then let her. 4. Be aware of yours and her body language. Leaning in means she's interested. Slouching is always bad. Arms crossed means she's hesitant or defensive. Back down on the questions and ask less personal ones. One thing I like doing is leaning in slowly over the course of the night. If she mimics you, means she's very interested. 5. Avoid looking at your phone. If she does look at hers what I sometimes do is stop talking and wait. But you need to be very careful not to annoy her. Museums are a good first date. It allows you to actually talk rather than eat or watch a movie together. Also, it's a good cultural experience and you see what kinds of art music they like. Classic can be good people watching. Don't go out for dinner on the first dates for multiple reasons. 1. If you don't like them, there's no quick escape. You have to sit out through the whole dinner, which is then pretty much a waste of time for both persons. 2. It's expensive. If it doesn't work out, you spent a lot of money on it. It also might force you to keep dating him her because you already invested so much in it. 3. So much can go wrong. Weird eating style, spilling food, etc. My advice is to just go for coffee if it's in the afternoon, drinks in the evening. Never get drunk though. I got drunk once on a first date and we both had a great time, really depends on the situation. Here's my best advice. Don't decide you like the person before your date, e.g. by looking at them on social media and becoming infatuated. Regardless of how attractive the person is, you still need to decide if you are actually into them. If you go into the date with your decision to like them already made, it will reflect on your behavior and will most likely be a turn off for your date. Smile. Have a good time. Take the lead in enjoying the night. She may be as nervous as you, and you need to build her trust. If things work, great. If not, 
don't take it personally, go out to enjoy the evening, not looking 1, 2, 20 years ahead. Introduce yourself to a couple people, if someone catches your attention, walk over, say hello, start by giving your name and asking theirs, make some funny jokes, talk casually, politics, neighborhood gossip, make funny faces at them, everyone likes that, ask fire sign, if they are single, test the waters a bit, if they aren't, well at least you put yourself out there right, if they are, move to step 2, the flirting, make slightly flirtatious jokes, compliment them, hug them amorously, eventually you should ask them out, congratulations, you are now on a date, that wasn't so scary was it, take them out to a hip restaurant, or if that's out of your budget, and you want something more casual, meet at a park, a beach, hang out around town, when on the date, escalate the flirting, start with casual conversation and jokes, then gaze into fire eyes, hug romantically, go for the kiss as soon as you think they like you enough, if they do, just go spelunking fire throat holes, don't hold back, even though you're out in public, who cares you're here to have fun, if the day lasts well into midnight, and you're so tired you're about to fall over, it's a good sign, you'd take them home, but you and your date have work the next day, it's probably best to get some sleep, get some rest, call them the next day to talk, invite them over, have some fun, try for a baby, who knows what life's next adventure will be, on the third date, you can start to think about marriage, tie that sucker down, soon you'll have a happy little family, wait, when did this room get so many rugs, why won't the door unlock, I'm hungry and tired and I have to pee, I should light a fire to keep warm, your friendly neighborhood sim. My tip is to not, go for dinner on the first date, the first date is for getting to know each other and if the chemistry just isn't there, you are stuck with a him for the whole duration. Another disadvantage of dinner date, is the whole split the bill or the man has to pay discussion. Dinner dates are fine for later dates, just take a him for a coffee somewhere, coffees are less expensive, if the date isn't that great, you or the other person can end it sooner. Coffee is not that expensive, so it doesn't really matter who pays. I actually have a question myself. I'm a 21 year old college student in the tech division of a large trades college. How do I even go about meeting women? There aren't many in my immediate vicinity. Hitting up folks in other divisions seems awkward and creepy. Everybody is hyper busy. Folks have suggested online dating since I have niche interests but I never get a match. And if I do it's a bot. Feels genuinely hopeless often. The phone works both ways. If you want to talk it's just as easy for you to initiate a conversation as it is for your interest. I'm looking at the women here. Don't miss out because of some antiquated notion that women don't call men. Mom and grandma are wrong on that one. It's way better to meet people through mutual activities and interests now. Online dating has gone to complete crap ever since smartphones hit. Most profiles are only a paragraph since dating apps hit and of course at best they are vague or filled with generic activities and buzzwords. Also if you're a well-rounded successful guy, just hang it up. Even if you do find a nice well-rounded successful woman to message she's already been harassed by several creeps and losers. She's not checking her messages anymore and she'll be off the site in a week. Volunteer at places and get involved in small little things. Meetup.com is great in bigger cities where people have diverse interests. Also make it a point to have a hangout spot where you can run into other singles. I have a pretty nice restaurant with a great cocktail bar I haunt when I'm bored and if nothing else I just talk to the bartenders. Also an upper scale grocery store right after work is surprisingly interesting place to meet other singles. Don't cruise like a creep of course but if you notice someone who catches your eye comes in the same time you do you can strike up a conversation and if it goes well just say you'll see them again so you're not like the dudes who demand a girl's phone number just for talking to them. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video.
bye for now.